Well, Matt and I first met back in 1998 uh, at a company called Imagination in London, uh, where I was working as a senior designer. Uh, Imagination's, I guess, core offer is of brand experience uh, and where, you, where they can tell the story mostly of corporate brands through a, uh, an architectural space. And it's storytelling through moving you through spaces and interacting with different things. And we got talking about how we'd love to do something together. Um, and we wanted to do our own thing, but we were too scared to uh, do it on our own. And we wanted a, a sort of partner to work with. And uh, so we ummed and ahed for about a year about, you know, talking to all our friends who'd done similar things and tried to gain as much sort of insight and knowledge from our friends, families and partners about should we do this. We've been very fortunate. We've been going for four years now and been very fortunate to get um, to sort of achieve what we really set out to do, which is have a nice balance between corporate clients and arts-based, publicly funded work. I think that relationship between people and objects uh, and how people relate to other people around them um, and the spaces in between them is the, is, is the connecting thread through our work. How do you engage people of different ages, different abilities, uh, in different subjects um, and, and, and communicate those stories well? And that's, in many ways, that interest in human relationships and human behaviour is, is where we get the name, our name from, uh, Kin. Museums do have a real challenge um, of how they make themselves relevant, and uh, I mean, it's been a it's been a challenge for a number of years now that um, people can so quickly turn to Google and Wikipedia and get their stats and get their information about history and, and artifacts. Do I have to be? You know, the question of do I have to be in the presence of an object to really understand that object? is a really interesting one. Visitors ask themselves the question, well, why do I need to visit a museum when I have a, I have a museum on my portable device? Uh, I don't need to do that. So um, how, do you, how do you make it relevant? And how do you use those technologies to, uh, to talk to, to visitors in a different way? How do museums obviously have their presence online? Uh, and how do they create interest online that is unique from those other sources? But how do they create an event in the physical sense where people are really engaged and, and want, to, want to come, go out of their way to visit the museum, to be in that live interactive experience. It's a similar thing that the music industry has gone through in terms of the change of, it's not, it's not valuable to own a piece of music anymore. Live shows used to be there to promote an album. Now albums are there to promote live shows because artists can really make their money from that. So should we be seeing museums more as live event spaces. We've often taken pride in how we can combine old technologies and new technologies together. Um, we really believe in the, the, uh, still the experience of the tactile and, um, and how through things like good object making and furniture making combined with digital technology as a, as a real physical object can um, can excite people in, in different ways and get them in the, involved in different ways. So it doesn't necessarily have to be the latest technology um, that, uh, that, is, that is the thing that you know, we'll be concentrating on the most. The word craft is, is as, as Matt, my business partner, was often uses as an example, is, 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 a, is a word that isn't used in the digital concept, uh, in, in the digital world that often. And I think um, that love, that care of attention, of typography, of of colour, of image, is, is often uh, second best in the digital world. You know, going back to that original point of the, the, the thread between the work, I think, it's, uh, I think that's, a, that's a thread as well that uh, is, is, I hope is there in our work. And, you know, I hope is uh, that, um, that passion for the detail comes across as well.